Hello, welcome back to Absalom End of God. Gods, my name is Usser. There's a troll in there. Jeez. Uh, oh god, I need a... I need a key. Code. Oh boy. That was the wrong thing. I feel like Angry Demon Studios, which is like the name of the developers, is the perfect name for a game like this. Okay, he's right there. Oh, oh, creepy. So one, I can't get up, and two, I can't seem to, um, I guess I need a charge attack for him, but, oh god. In order to do that, I'm going to need some stuff, I don't have any. Bear with me while I go get recharged. Like, I don't know if I can just walk up and touch Mjolnir. Um... I didn't see that, but that's not... ...the number. Yeah, I can just touch Mjolnir. Okay. God damn it. I've already forgotten how to do a charge burst. I thought I was doing it, but apparently you can't be aiming to charge it up. I don't remember. I mean, it just played this game. I really did. Yeah, okay. Oops. Now we're talking. All right, let's go back and recharge. Yeah, that just obliterates them. I like that. Unfortunately, I've run out of those recharge packs, but whatever. Oh, it's so loud. If there was one here, I wouldn't be able to hear it. Okay. Nothing that way. That's a cool thing.
Well, I killed him, but I'm out. So if there's another one, like walking around in here, I'm in trouble. All right, let's see what we got over here. I lifted the lower level lockdown. I don't know what that means or what that did. Approve remote link in medical research. Still trying to do that. Haven't seen it anywhere. Did that open? Oh, it opened this one. Okay, hold on. I can see him in there. Let's recharge my eye, and then we'll go wreck his shit. Where'd he go? He was here. Ah. Boom. Okay. They're permanently dead once you do that, so not taking any chances. Back we go. Grab some more. I don't feel like that goes anywhere. No, I'm not allowed to go down there too small, which means a troll might be able to navigate that. Oh, that's dark. Well, I thought I'd look in the room. There's nothing there. God, you're loud. Um, so wait, that was just a loop? How does that help me? Okay. Oh, cause yeah. Totally know what that means. Okay. Four, six, seven, three. That's what I needed to do. Four, six, seven, three. So now I've got that. I heard one running around. Like, I heard it make noise. I heard pitter patter. Wow, it turns really slow when you've got that up. I hear it. I hear it. Four, six, seven, three. I don't like that face that's on the ground. Four, six, seven, three. That was a that was a bit of a while to get that. Yay! I did it. Use the site because I don't trust anything. Looks okay. Gotta recharge. Oh, there's one right here. Maybe that's what I was hearing. You think? Could I be that lucky? Yay. Maybe. Uh, medical research, please. 
Yeah, we got this. Four, two, medical research. Okay, so as far as I understand this game, not saying I do, but it seems like Henrik, are you there? It seems like we're living in Ragnarok. Love how he's not there. Um and if I remember my Norse mythology right, the gods are the ones who solve the problem of Ragnarok. We literally need the gods to show up and take care of things. Yeah. Day 30. The subject is growing at an alarming rate and has already doubled in size. It also exhibits minor cognitive abilities, emotions on the level of an older child, and something that seems to be memories. Day 83. The subject is very drawn to the female from the human trials. She is not yet conscious, but the subject is very keen on staying close to her, almost like he's guarding her. Day 95. The creature is growing and is getting harder to contain. The subject went on a rampage when he discovered that the female was moved during the night. After destroying the holding area, he was sedated and moved to a location closer to the female. If growth doesn't cease, Termination of the subject might be necessary. What subject? Is this Fenris you're talking about? Fire seems bad. Let's save it. It has been 18 minutes recording time to get this far, like... Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, what? Oh! That's what I'm supposed to do! Of course! So, I got one shot at this, and it seems to me like, if I use this... Well, fuck me. Now I'm out of energy. I mean, they gave me some recharge things. point of opening that one door was maybe it's something I'm not supposed to do yet ah collectible Put my side off so I couldn't even see what was there um I don't know I don't okay let's just cycle another airlock I got a decent charge Shit! I'm out! I mean, I got a little bit of a charge, but it's not enough to, like, get me full. Shit. Mm. It's not enough to get me to where I can actually get them.
Alright. It's coming this way. There. Get out of here. Little crotch goblin. That's you in the corner. No. No. It. <gasps> oh, he's looking right at me. They do not want you to kill them all. They want you to sneak. Sneaky, sneaky! I don't like the noises they make at all. Go, go! That's one way to get by him. This wasn't hidden well enough, apparently. Oh! Thank goodness! Okay. Now! Now I can kill the little shits! Wait. No, it's definitely in here somewhere. Maybe. Okay! Can't see anything. Ah, like these vents are dark or something. I heard one. Aha, key signature already scanned. What? So, thanks for that. Apparently I'm in the morgue. Signature already scanned. It wasn't scanned until I just did it. out of here. So this is not a place I like, because it's got that weird table and the robot -y thing, and... It was worth a shot. Let's continue to look around. Shit. That sucks. That sucks a lot. I don't have anything! Ah! Oh.
Okay, so there's another side across from me that I have to get up to and look for the security keys. I didn't know there was another one! Shit. I'm gonna have to sneak past him. Oh. Perfect timing for my sight to go out. Aha! Last one. It's always the last one. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> I did it. All right, we got a new code key. Now, aha, there it is. Okay. In we go. We have unlocked more doors. Approve link. Get back to Dr. Henriksen at B1. Oh, God. Am I gonna do that? That's all kinds of nope right there. All kinds of nope. Don't, don't like anything on that screen. Oh, that looks like it should be a thing. Henrik? Yes, I have access to the database. Your creation was a meld of a female subject. Alice. For an artifact tissue. For what purpose? By the gods. There was another creature before you. What? Artifact tissue from the outskirts of Asgard in combination with human tissue to create an enormous beast. A wolf. The file describes the creature as ever growing, with minor intelligence and It's Fenris. During your creation, you were guarded by the beast. Awesome. She seems to be emotionally attached to you for some reason. How could you possibly not know about this going on? <sighs> I'm afraid this occurred after the spirit took control. What? It must be behind this. What are you talking about? The what spirit? The spirit. And I how? I knew this would only raise more questions. <sighs> I'm sorry I had to risk your safety for this, my dear. Get back to Henrik as soon as possible so we can locate the next key. I'm working on it. This nightmare. She's right. Head back down here. I'll answer any questions you've got. Well, I'm trying. Wee! Oof. Okay. Look around, look around. I don't know if I go this way or not. That one says it's locked, but I just got a new thing. Yeah. Getting a little frame rate issue. I feel like I should save it. So I've already been playing for 30 minutes, but I haven't done much. Let's go a little bit longer here. I don't. Okay, this is marked, so let's try going this way. I can't remember which way. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Keep them coming. Perfect. You're here. Oh. So far, you've met my... You said you'd answer my questions. <sighs> Fine. Ask away. I don't know where to start. What is this place? That's a what frost giant place? up there. Spent years of mortal life toiling away at plans, scraping together resources and favors to turn this into reality. A place to research the things thought to be myth and superstition. A place to research the Absalom, the last divine artifact left in Midgard. You've already seen it on your way down. That statue upstairs? At first. 
we used ancient knowledge and combined it with Bohr Corp technology to open rifts between worlds. We made enormous progress, discovered new worlds and unimaginable technologies. Like your eye. But some unwanted things came back with us, entering our world. And now everything is just falling apart. I'm trapped down here and we have lost control of the entire facility. The only way to stop the world from falling into chaos is to collect nine keys and insert them into the Absalom. The artifact acts as the gates, and the keys will keep Midgard from being littered with the roots spreading across the surface. Okay. And unless we stop it, our existence and that of all living things will become endless torment. That sounds bad. How, how do you know where the keys are? Years of research alone and with my associates, scouring through endless texts of the Nine Worlds. Who is Alice? Enough questions! You have the key! Order must be restored to the realms of Yggdrasil, and the evils from beyond must be locked out. Insert this key into the Absol and remember what I've taught you. Do that and you will succeed. Now get out of here, go! Okay. Who is that? Is that Alice? Who? Right, whatever. I'm just looking around, trying to be thorough. Um. <sighs> Getting all pissed off and angry at me. Ooh. Benson, Supervisor, Day 12 of Tablet Analysis. Dr. Anderson brought an artifact holding an engraved sphere in some form of the magnetic energy field. The text delivered with the sphere suggests that it's a soul stone, something meant to replicate and store the soul of any higher being. There are accounts of time anomalies and split realities, but they are impossible to read at the time. Why would I hit that? Okay, where am I supposed to go? That doesn't seem like the proper one. It's one way. I don't want to activate it, but apparently I need to. So, maybe I don't. I don't know. Okay. I'm glad I couldn't. I guess I don't need to come this way right now. It said the statue you saw on the way down here, but I'm like, I... what's up on my heads up display? Show me, show me where that's at. Or is it the one that I, like, did I literally just pass one? Oh, nothing there. Uh, Absilov research. Well, obviously that's where I need to go. Also, I should see if I can go to any other floors now that I've got a new uh, rune plugged in. But, I mean, I'm supposed to do this. Kind of funny, my name is Alice, which seems very appropriate. Like, we have fallen down the fucking rabbit hole, my friends. How do I... How do I plug it into that? <laughs> We got here. Pathology research, note three. The information me and Henrik has unearthed is just as astounding as mentioned in the previous notes made by Henrik. One thing I just had to note was a story depicting an enormous wall built to protect Asgard from the outside world. The story talks of the gods making a wager with a giant. The wager was that if the giant could finish the wall within a set amount of time, he could marry the goddess Freya. However, when the giant was almost finished, the gods cheated. And to add insult to injury, Thor crushed the giant's head with his hammer. This wall that is described in the Younger Edda doesn't seem to be a wall at all. 
It's a statue capable of shutting out the roots of Yggdrasil and opening them to the one in control of it. I fear that this statue is exactly what we have here in the facility. Hmm. The Absoloth. Okay. We've had lots of difficulties maneuvering the other eight worlds of Yggdrasil to find the artifacts that we need. That is, until now. Henrik found out that magical beings can see on a spectrum that is invisible to mere mortals. And with artifacts and knowledge brought home from Valheim, Henrik has managed to infuse this magic into an augmented reality implant, making the spectrum visible to the user. And this is an amazing leap forward to unlock the secrets that these worlds are holding from us. Oh, there it is. Wait a minute, there's only two more. To excuse them. Don't abandon us. We have to find all the artifact keys as soon as possible. There's only two more. That's not a big deal. In another part of Nivelheim. On top of a tower of ice. A beacon of light. From the Absalov research room, you have to go through the east wing. The code to the gate is 3825. 3825. 3825. Be careful, man. I'll fucking work on that. Don't have that one. 3825. East Wing. I don't want to go to Niflheim. Find an Absalov key on top of the Beacon of Light. You know what? The Beacon of Light sounds pretty nice. I think this will be fun. I mean, don't you guys agree? Beacon of Light? It sounds pretty positive and happy. And Hey, Gatekeeper Seer. Alright, let's save it. I think that's where I'm actually going to stop it. I've been recording about 40 minutes. There's a little bit of getting lost at the beginning. Just wanted to see if there's any bad guys right away. Hopefully I'm done with the trolls. They're creepy, um, annoying, and I have to use a charge blast to kill them, which I don't have enough energy lying around to do my charge blasts all the time. Uh, how many do I have now? Seven. Well, now I've got Charge Blast, so I have six. Uh, I don't want to fill it all the way up. I want to keep enough on hand so that I can do a second Charge Blast. But, uh, yeah. The Beacon of Light! I mean, that sounds very hopeful. It sounds nice and bright and warm and pleasant. I'm sure there won't be anything wrong. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I post anything new. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye.